Hello to the gamers, it is Sunday. I'm not playing Balatro because it comes out in two days. Let's play some Super Auto Pets. Five hours left in the weekly. This is my personal nightmare. It's the worst conceivable time to get into a weekly. Let me see what we got here. With the boonie yip, I'm going crazy. I'm freezing. I'm rolling two more times, which means effectively we're rolling three more times. And I'm, I'm rolling one large Andrew. I'll be like a uninspired bagpipe. Perhaps, sorry, the servers were having a little hiccup there. Must be uh, taking some cues from uh, 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 from the, the Helldivers 2 situation that we're going through right now. Am I right, fellow gamers? How about some of this, some of this, and again, roll me three times, which technically means we'll be rolling four, I suppose. Now, if we don't at least get a draw on this one, I'm going to uh, lose my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna, I can see it happening, bro. No, 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 we're chilling. This team is actually gonna be a nightmare next round um, because they got the level up coming on the double mermel and the, the bunny yip might be the strongest tier one, you know, in a vacuum by itself. So they, there's a lot to, there's a lot to like there. Don't get me wrong. But we didn't face them next round. We faced them this round. Uh, I mean, this is this is really good. In we we're going to be three squatted, which is obviously dangerous. I think a tree kind of goes crazy. I, I get that we could have gone double pugs, but I think a tree goes insane um, once we're actually able to afford it. Which it, it'll be a little while, but that's okay. This stings, but I I still think we got a great setup rolling for the future. Probably could have set it up better for the present, but. A good setup for the future. You need some of that. Now, I'm not going to theme my entire run uh, around rolling any longer. When it happens, sure. There, you know, there's uh, any port in the storm. And we're not, we're not investing much deeper into the bunny yip or the silkworm. We're kind of looking for our... Uh, we're looking for our next pivot. But I like this team. This team can do some good stuff. Maybe like an Ogo Pogo uh, that makes our camel artificially leveled or we could just get organic levels i think i hit my dpi button did i what the heck we're freaking zooming we're not zooming and we're back okay one roll i don't want it remember that remember that game of thrones more people eat stew these days than remember game of thrones it's true just ask adam carolla now, this is a, a strong Andy, no doubt about that. It's going to be a stronger Andrew than I have the capabilities to deal with. We're going to be on three lives, but I, I, I don't know what to say. I still like the team. I was just going to say, you throw some levels in here. You throw an Ogo Pogo in here. Like, we're, we're straight chilling, bro. I'm not even concerned. It should still be like this, in my opinion. You should leave. You get an Ogo Pogo making your camel better. I recognize I'm speaking in tongues, and you know what? We're living for it. I'm gonna go double Mandrake, and maybe we'll get one disable on a on a fainting enemy. And we're really the the meat and potatoes of this run is that the tree is gonna get a coconut, and then we're hoping it gets lots of extra attack as a result of the uh, the camel getting some hurt triggers. Now, obviously, didn't necessarily come to pass right away, and I'm getting bodied by a double Pegasus team. And I gotta say thank you because I've never seen the tech actually work. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. I'll stack another Ogopogo. I'll, I'll put a little garlic on you. Chupacabra level. Now I'm stubbornly sticking with my team that is not getting the job done. That could be um, construed as a mistake. <laughs> okay, smart little donkey play there. I see it. I see it. I saw the vision. It didn't... I was going to say it didn't get the job done, but it actually worked out totally fine for you. Never mind. Give me some valuable levels. I'm leveling up willy-nilly, which is not smart. Realistically, long-term... I mean, I, I feel like we need Siberian Husky. Are there any perks that would, like, make a panther really sneaky? I guess, like, a, a tomato would kind of go crazy. Or golden egg would do 10 damage. It's an interesting idea, and if we're already, like, semi-cooked, maybe it's the right way to go. But if I'm selling two units, what am I selling? 
I guess I would, because I'm definitely buying a husky, I guess I would be selling a camel, which means I can afford to sell an Ogopogo. And then I can run, I, I don't know about this one, guys. <laughs> I'm looking at my team and I'm like, our stats are, are decroted, man. This is it's disgusting. But at least we're gaining 1-1 one, one every turn. I have debased myself. I've gone husky mode. Holy cow, they got a bad dog. We have... Oh, we got the greatest perk we ever could have asked for, though. Did you see that? They put a chili pepper on my freaking panther, bro. I didn't even have to pay for it. Normally, they could teach you, but they have to charge. I'm just going to level with you. I think that the chupacabra and the tree are both cooked. The tree is more likely to, to get some benefits here, I think, at least, uh, to, to stay stable for a while. And the mandrake gives us outsized positive potential, I think. Oh, but now you got food. You're not getting skilled by the husky. Oh. <laughs> is mana a perk? I want to test something. I know th this is like, I mean, now we're in the lab, okay? I want to see if this does 12 damage. I, I, we're, we're in a, we're in a tizzy. Let's put it that way. Let me see. Uh, we'll never know because they had coconut armor. Well, I have, I have made some mistakes on this run. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Also sells for plus three. I forgot about that. I don't think we want chaos. Sure, you know, I, I understand the problems. I'm not going to buy the mana. I don't think it's the way. Um, at this point, you basically have to go because you're going to get stacked too high for the... for the, um, the, the coconut armor to even apply. But I'm deluding myself if I think I'm going to win this round I, or survive past this round. At least there's no armor. Like, that's, that's nice. But how are you going to get through this? It's a simple thing. You're not. You're not going to get through this. Good game, Mars83. Just letting you know, you might want to try out some of the new animals. They're pretty fun. Anyway, um, okay, Bunyip. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay? And if it feels good, do it. Even if you shouldn't, don't let people mess you around. Let's be a, a nasty bush. Jiggly Dumpling also. Nothing against it. I appreciate they, they gave me a softball for round one. Probably because they're like, oh no, like his, his kid is playing on his account right now. I wouldn't mind buying one more. You would be a beautiful thing for us to purchase. We've rolled two times this turn. Um, I'll, I'll save my level for next time and I will run a little honey on a bunny. This is where I find out it's actually, it's actually pronounced Banuyip. It's pronounced Banuyip. A lot of people don't know that about it. That, when you're right, you're right. I am, I'm totally fine with this. We're, we're stacked, we're positioned for round, uh, for round three. So we're going to be like partly squatted. I'll tell you that for free. But it's a good looking team, bro. It's a good looking team. I'm telling you, a tree can get something done, okay? I know we didn't see it at its best last time. I think an urchin can do good stuff too. It just tends to get uh, disabled a lot. Unfortunate. It's a freaking huge Ogopogo, bro. But the math is mathing. Th the B actually changed the calculus for us there. I do... I like the idea of a frost wolf as well. I, I do feel... Well, you know what? It probably clears an otter. And maybe, maybe we do invest in these Andes right here. There's something about... I guess you could put chocolate cake on something that like spawns something or gets a good faint trigger. And then that would give you a, a stat boost on Mermel as well. Like if our Mermel leveled up, I, I could be suaded to, to try that strategy out. I've pretty much ignored chocolate cake ever since they added it to the game. Well, it's not the most fantastic round you could ever ask for. 
It, like, we lost the last round, and now I'm like, hey, check it out. We're going to run something even worse on this round. But that's huge. That's a huge play right there. Hold. We are holding. Okay. There's something a little more steady here. Something a little more stable. I would murmur it up. I'd murmur it up any day of the dang week, bro. And what do you get? You get 2-4. On faint, you can make two enemies cold. I do think maybe the tree is gone. The sea lion is like too early and good of a scaler not to take. I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna get a little, a little creative with this one. We are essentially running a unit that is not going to do anything, but he was a 1-4, so he didn't really do anything anyway. No! Mandrake! Hold? This is not gonna hold. This, this is an unholdable situation. Okay. The, the Mandrake blew us out. I don't know how much it changed the, the events, but I wasn't pleased. Transfer man. I, I kind of like the Kitsune, but I think you need the, um, what is this lad called? <laughs> I think you need the rock to be in the building to, to, to for me to make it work. And I, we, we saw Pegasus do some beautiful work with some summoning teams, no doubt about that, but I don't know. Me, me personally right now, I feel like we're on a different, we're on a different track. I don't know who's sticking around, but I'm, I'm just going to stick with the principle that it makes sense to buff our best unit. At the time being, please just let me see this in action. They do not have a Mandrake. We've overridden the Coconut, and uh, it's the way it works in this game. I now feel like the smartest person who's ever played it. I'm like, wow, you really thought you were cooking something there. Well, unfortunately, I'm a genius. Next round, they'll have a Mandrake, and I'll be like, I'm so stupid! You know what? Rather than, than rolling for minimal purpose, I'm going to roll for some purpose. Buying some cans, knowing that we are going to pivot off of like almost every unit that you presently see. Okay, that's, it's, there's, some, there's some niceness here. The math, like I said, is mathing. That's totally fine. Okay, we're, we're, we're cooking up something a little, a little creative by my standards, at least. Not a big uh, uh, fan of any of these units, but the urchin's doing his job. Nobody knows what, what it is you do here, just to be clear. I don't think the Frost Wolf is sticking around much longer, and I think Mermel is going to go too. I'm, I'm really, I'm basically just rolling to get scalers. In case you're like, why are you rolling forever? It's, it's for scaling-based purposes. Um, I understand the team looks... Well, you know what? Let's be kind to ourselves. It looks like a team that's in transition right now. It doesn't look like a team that's fully set on where it wants to be, uh, and, and that's okay. Huge. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It, oh, it almost, it almost held, bro. We were like one attack away. Can I tell you a formative experience in my life? I was playing this on my phone the other day. I lost to a team um, that was made of five sea lions. And I think ever since then, I've been trying to find the opportunity to, I just don't think it works, uh, to do that to other people, what, what they've done to me. I think we have to run something. And I guess I, it's, I don't see it being super good, but at least it's a 5-9 that'll generate like a, a half-decent kill shot at some point for us. Okay, the order on this is, is scuffed. You're gonna summon a turtle back there. That's genius. It's a genius play, positively. It's, it, it's the smartest play I've ever seen, and you stole my honey? But then, it, wait, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I don't know if, if it was the Kitsune that made all the difference, but it sure didn't hurt. Okay, get, get something going here. We still got tier ones on the squad. I don't think we have enough scaling for the Warthog to, to make sense, but obviously we need something. <laughs> How about... Yeah, yeah, here's a good idea. Sell your best unit right away. Um, run a rock on you. You'll die and give all the mana to you. Give it to you, give it to you. At least we're going to have lots of mana coming out here. 
I am to peach of immortality. Sorry, you have to say it every time you see it. And then a transformation? Well, the, the, the thing is, I personally now wish I had saved our tier one that was a level three. But I guess a, a, a tier two at level three is probably not that likely to make like a considerable difference, but I don't know, man. What do I know? Okay, the, the math is definitely not mathing on this one. We have been blown out by a, a very hyperscaling squad. And uh, I have lost all confidence in our ability to succeed. And this is how we do it. <laughs> this is really bad, I think. <laughs> I think we stand almost no chance of surviving. Um, yeah, this team is too good. That's fine. Once again, might I just say power juice? At some point, you may wish to... I, it's just me speaking from the interest of the developers. You may wish to sample some of the units that have been added to the pack. Um, they're a lot of fun to play around with. At least I have a lot of fun playing around with them. You're, obviously, your mileage may vary. I'm going to say round one. We don't care if we win or lose. But we'll, we can always go heavy on rolls in round two. I'll be a leaking doodad. Hmm, very interesting. Steamed sushi roll, gonna be honest with you. I don't think this is necessarily what you're going for, um, but it sounds kind of disgusting in my opinion. I don't mind sushi. In fact, I would say I'd go a step further and say I like it. I would go even a step further and say I had some last night. Although I have reached, I don't know if I'd call it a stage in my life or I've just, you know, I, to thine own self be true sort of type deal. Um, but these days, if we go to a sushi place, I'm more of a sashimi guy. I just, it, it's not like a, it's not a keto thing. It's not like, oh, I want the fish, but I don't want the rice. I feel like my favorite part of the sushi is the fish most of the time, unless it's like a really, really, really good place. So just give me more of the fish, less of the everything else, so I can really appreciate it. And then maybe on this, I, I, I'm the kind of dude, I was going to say mf -er, but, you know, we're keeping family friendly. I don't mind ordering a little appetizer sashimi, and then I'll even take like a yam tempura roll on the side. You get the best of both worlds. You get to pretend that you are a wealthy businessman in Tokyo, Japan, and then you get to pretend that it's like, you know, picnic day at Jericho Beach or something like that. It's the best of both worlds. Hannah Montana. I'm going to try something a little bit, a little bit different. Run an Osprey, knowing that... I, I did like what the Sea Urchin did for us, to be fair. Run an Osprey, knowing that um, if we get Pegasus, this could really help us get some, some serious attack on our Andes. You know what I'm saying? He's sundowning. There you go. There's, there's our first of many. We definitely take. I like the idea. You know what? I guess I I like an Ogopogo enough to enable the Mermel. Sorry, Sea Urchin. Maybe there's just no place for you on this one. We've rolled two times. I would buy this turn freeze. It's going to give our Mermel a little bit more support. I'm, I'm hoping it... Pegasus, I know, is a tier three, and I've never really given it the time of day. So this could be... This could be a new sort of era for me. Bunyip is so, it's like head and shoulders above the rest of the tier ones this week. I mean, Mermel can, can be good too, but it needs some help. <sighs> Who's sticking? I mean, you're already summoning something, so why don't we have you summon something else and we'll just try to make sure that we maintain the space necessary for that to happen. Um, I, I the, pu the pug is going to go after the bunyip is the problem. Would we rather have an ogopogo? I don't, I don't, I think the cost to change is too high. Pegasus, come back, it will come back to you. Pegasus, it will come, you know, Steely Dan. Track four off of the uh, seminal 1980 album Asia. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about then the shutter falls. You see it all in 3D. It's your favorite foreign movie. I'm talking about stuff like that, bro. I'm talking about I've seen your pin shot. Your name in lights above it. This is your big debut. It's like a dream come true. 
And when you smile for the camera, I know they're gonna love you. Peg. Okay, hang on. This is, this is my setup. There are many like it, and this one... Oh, what about it? We never d d dared to deign to run Pegasus and Sea Turtle. Like, this is a totally... This is out of left field, man. This is like a, a last pack, Andy. I mean, the Pegasus didn't exist back then, but you get the general gist of it. Huge. Look at, look at this. I have no idea if it's working. In fact, I think we are still going to lose. <laughs> but we got a lot of triggers, which made it look like we were doing something right. That's for certain. Okay. Nice little buff there. You know what? I don't even mind... I don't mind doing that. I don't mind chopping wood. And I don't care if the money's no good. You owed me something on that roll, though. I am... There's, there's something about the Saiga antelope in my brain here. But I, I'm... I'm a hope. They got two Pegasuses, bro. Come on, that's not hardly fair, honestly. I've only got the one. I do have the strongest B that I think I've ever seen. Wait a minute, I think we're gonna hold on this one, bro. This, this is a large rabbit as well. Okay, well you can't fault me for running something uh, typical. Like this is a, a very unusual build for us. It's obvious that, like, this is the meta this week. This and the sea lion. The smart move is to bail. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to hedge my bets here, okay? I'm going to run a husky with food on itself because it's not missing its own buff, obviously. And then, sure, let's level up our, our Pegasus. I guess we could have combined and then placed to get more triggers, but well, that, that train has sailed. So obviously the Osprey is not getting buffed, but it is going to get... The things that it summons are going to get buffed like crazy. Huge. That is a, that's a large guy right there, though. Hang on, though. That felt amazing, especially because they're anonymous. They were unwilling to put their name to it, and as a result, you pay the price. Here's what I'm thinking. You, you, you have to. You have to. Every time you get the opportunity, you have to. And I, I think you just concentrate the buffs on the unit that's not getting buffed. I'm not going to can you. I would love to run... I, you could even throw out the possibility of a second Osprey here. And then you could combine them. And then a pterodactyl with another faint trigger attached? I don't... It's a, it's a bit unusual. I guess the, now that I think about it, the hellhound is actually like... It summons as well, but... This summons... Dude, well... Yeah, wait, it, we're thinking, okay? Pegasus lived. Things you love this... No! I forgot you have the first faint trigger because you have a, a bee. Wait, no, I got it backwards. It's not, it's not exclusively faint triggers that it works with. This one will not be a hold. It'll be a hold, never mind. Okay. So it, I think the, the simple thing here is that the Pteranodon probably just shouldn't exist. But we will... Well, I guess for now, we'll do it like this because we get a free summon trigger. And then I would happily do this for the summon trigger. And then I would happily do this for the summon trigger. And then, like, if we end up getting a little crispy at the back, I would say life goes on long after the thrill of living is gone, brother. It is what it is. This, you're going to own me. This is a, a very strong looking team here. If I, could, if I could just. Oh, you don't have enough space anymore because you've leveled up. Of course, I did it to myself. And the, the, the worst part about it is that as a result of that, we're missing the bunny. And the bunny is, like, very important to punch through those big enemies because it, it does uh, double damage. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's just not smart. Um, take your level. And we got we to gotta move some stuff around, obviously. Get the trigger. The problem with moving this stuff around... 
It's an interesting idea with the warthog. Um, problem with moving this stuff around is that it screws up our turtle. But realistically, like, is a level one turtle even that good? I would say probably not. And I, I kind of want to try this with a warthog. A warthog is going to get a bunch of attack as things get summoned. And then it is going to die and give all the stats to the Pegasus. It's an interesting idea, unless it dies well in advance of that, which would be unfortunate. But we hold it, we hold it, just hold, just, no, my Warthog! We're still chilling though, look at this. Oh, see, that's the, and then it does 22 damage. That's the kind of stuff we're looking through to punch through these big enemies. Now, there may never be a place for you if I level you up, but that's, that's the cost of doing business in this town. You're not long for this world, I'm sorry to say. Like, you, you simply don't have merit here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna level you up. But then if I level you up, it screws up the Warthog, because I gotta move you back one, but I think you gotta, to thine own self be true. And then Cerberus certainly seems like the type of Andy you could put out here. Because he, he summons a bunch of extra units. We're going to start facing some serious nastiness, though that, that much is uh, not up for debate. No! A donkey build! Turn me into Darth Vader! <laughs> and then these guys are not going to have crazy stats or anything. Okay. I'm still, even if we, if, if five is all we get, I had a lot of fun with this one. Because it's, it's so far out of my normal wheelhouse. Works once per turn. Okay, so you're straight useless if I move you up more. You're, you're still doing something here. Give me some. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> We're not getting the extra triggers, but now it works two times per turn, which means in order to be true to the theme closer, in order to be true to the theme of my build, I do have to move the Warthog up. So he's really only... It's, it's not the, the coup that I originally thought that it could be, and that's fine. That's life. This seems like, as long as our Pegasus doesn't immediately get blown out, this actually seems plausibly winnable. Just hold for a second, bro. <laughs> no! They knew! They knew! No, no, wait, we're still chilling? Oh my god, no, we're not. Did you see the strength? Wait a minute. No, 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 you're cooked, bro. That's devastating. And, and their build was just more clever than mine. Dude, oh my god, a, a panther that summons, like, tons of freaking rabbits is genius. I think we can make this team work now that we've stolen an idea from a smarter player. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Upset a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time.